Alrighty, fresh brand new hoses. Got us a five, got us a ten. Got us a uh, another ten right here. Went on and popped this open. Got a brand new twenty in now, and a brand new twenty on that side as well. I learned from the past. You want to have all brand new hoses. Even the belly line, even the belly line, and it's old hose coming off. You know, put one of these brand new twenties on, and uh, that's how we're gonna rock. And the reason for even the hot hose, the hot hose in the front, I took that off too, man. Got a brand new hot hose too. So y'all, this tire right here need to be replaced because I don't like the way it looked. Not because it ain't good, I just don't like it. The belly line, why, why replace the belly line? Why not just keep this old hose on? Well, it's just a matter of time before the sand starts spilling. Like, anywhere it's a soft spot. Oh, the whole damn thing. It looks like we got a hole right here. Look at that. You see right here? Sand shooting out right here. Okay. Sand shooting out. No, that's bird duty. God damn it. Whatever. But y'all get the idea. It's a hole right there. Okay. It's, it's just a matter of time before this old ass hose got you looking stupid on the well suit and sand out now you frustrated you know what i'm saying you fucking in like a hundred degree a hundred degree a hundred degree weather you know out here duct taping shit jb well sealed you fucking hate your job you hate everything about it and it's all because you didn't replace the fucking hose when you had the chance okay now this is pretty easy to take off i just take Take the clamp off, take the hose off, slide it through that damn chain, and it's off the it's off the trailer, so it's no biggie. So I learned that from experience. Once you uh once you play the duct tape, the duct tape game long enough, you get tired of it. You know, we already got trailer tires, two of them right here, another brand new hose. And uh, I got the old hose that's still on here too. I got one right here and I got some other ones on the other side. The reason for that is if uh, something fuck up, I can cut hoses, make a new hose, whatever the case may be, but that'll be a long time from now because I got all brand new hoses, okay? Um, the rest of the belly line is metal or steel, I don't know which one. So it's, it's all good. But like I said, I took off the hot hose right there. Went with a brand new one, you know, nothing special. Nothing special. Brand new hoses, I know. I tell you, I'm tired of playing the duct tape game, the JB Wheel Seal game. I just come to realize, man, it's easier to replace all this shit on day one so that you can just get straight to the money. These are some old hoses, rusted out. I may take this five. It's got a soft spot. Rusted out. I'm my own operator, man, so, you know, well, what does that mean, Andrew? Well, what that means is I got to pay for these hoses, so, uh, nah, I take that back. I don't got to pay for them. They, when you first start, they give you hoses for free. If you ask for them, is the catch, so all this is free, but I'm saying, like, if, if this blow a hose and I need to replace it, I got to, I got to pay for it from the hose shop. <laughs> my bad, the phone just cut me off. Good enough, good enough. Phone cut me off. But like I was saying, it's best to go ahead and replace everything on day one so that you have absolutely no problems out here. You're not talking about, you're not, you're not on YouTube talking about how hard this shit is. You're not out here duct taping, sweating your ass off, you know, hating the fucking job, okay? I tell you, I've already been through it. I know from experience, if I would have replaced everything on day one, none of that shit, none of them issues would have ever occurred, okay? So... You learn this from experience, okay? In my case, I need the goddamn hook, blow off, and be gone. 30 minutes. I don't need to be out here, you know, playing the hose game, the duct tape game. Because duct tape costs, man. Gorilla tape, that shit costs. You know, you buying a fucking sticker, sticker fucking gorilla tape every three days. For what? For what? Then you, you buying all that tape, but you still got to replace the hose. So for what's the point? So I, I just learned from experience, man. All brand new. Now I ain't never had a problem with the hot hose. 
and I ain't about to have a problem. That's why I got a brand new one. Understand what I'm saying? I said, well, what's wrong with the old one? Nothing. There wasn't nothing wrong with it. As a matter of fact, I got a spare. <laughs> Keep the old one for spare. Put it on the trailer somewhere. But uh, like I said, I'm back doing pneumatic as an owner operator. Uh, as y'all saw, I took my blow to the shop. I had it, I had the oil changed, I had it greased up, I had, no, I didn't have them greased up yet. I gotta, I gotta get the whole truck greased up. This trailer been greased up already, but, uh. All right, all right, all right. So, pop off valve is still loose. I never got it fixed, but I'm gonna go ahead and get that changed. I'm change my blue oil. I'm gonna get this blue oil back going, get it all lubed up. And Alright YouTube, it's a brand new pop out valve. So y'all can see, it's looking brand new, still got the tag on here. It's real good. My truck gotta be greased up, but uh, I changed the pop out valve and that was all I needed to do to be out here running again. Was it an issue when my broke blower? If, if I didn't take it to the shop, no, it wasn't no issue. I could have kept running, but uh, I ain't never got an oil changed on it, so it's best if I go ahead and at least change the oil. Did I have to change the oil? No, I could have turned the blow on and unloaded and kept it moving, but then again... It's, it's like not changing the oil on the engine. It's just a matter of time before shit get the fucking up because you didn't change the oil, so, you know.